Fizzle, you already know what it is. Back again, lights, camera, action, you already know what it is. Back in this again with Yvonne Chi, Mr. Von Von, you got Noah. Noah, if you all introduce him, so, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, keep it. Oh, like, oh, 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 shit, oh, shit, gang. Oh, you good? Noah, V, you already know, man. Out here again, new video. Back at it. Hey, right, so, I don't even know the title of the topic. I don't know what the topic is, but. Well, I know what the topic is, but I don't know how to say it. But we'll probably find out at the end of the video. So, up till now, enjoy. But yeah, um, like you both said, I don't know like what to put as as a topic. Y'all can probably find a meme for yourselves. We'll probably figure something out. Um, but I just want to speak more on Proverbs 18. We'll get right to it. So we're gonna go to Proverbs 18, chapter 18, verse 2. Um, I'm gonna read it. So it says, Fools find no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing their opinion. If this is something we can relate to in, in this generation. <laughs> I know Yvonne knows a lot of other people know that people in this world, they only relate to what bothers them they only want to speak about something that bothers them but they never want to relate to the facts and this is not just in a biblical standpoint this is just in the world today like even the things that goes on around the world they're not gonna relate on facts they're not gonna relate on on stats you know the stats don't lie anything at all it's always gonna be feuds because if they don't feel like it's the right thing they're not gonna accept it uh, so that's pretty much what's going on in while living for God, while preaching His word, you know, you can say one thing and someone's not going to agree um, because it can be something that's very touchy. You know, there's a lot of touchy topics such as, what, well, like, you know, tithing. <laughs> We're not going to get into that, but um, homosexuality, uh, you know, simple stuff, you know, music. What else is there? Uh, uh, transgenderism. Yeah, transgenderism. Like, there's so much more. And those, those topics, like, they're so, like, it's so sensitive because some people feel as if it's wrong or like just the way the world is portrayed today like it's almost impossible to, to try to link to the word of god because everything is just so diverse everything is just so open to being different you know it's it's okay to you know having a kid born and you want to choose a gender for him like you know, about abortion too right? yeah, abortion. <laughs> there's, there's, there's so many topics like so much like but it makes sense because it's pretty much the world that we live in. Almost everything that they see, almost everything that goes around, obviously it's to make you like mentally to push yourselves away from God. The more, you know, it's a deeper, it's it's deeper than just what it says. It's deeper than just what you see when it comes to abortion and all that type of stuff. It all goes back to what goes on behind closed doors, what goes on in the spiritual. Because, you know, at the end of the day, as Christians, we're supposed to live for God. We're supposed to stick to his word at until time's up pretty much at the same time the devil he's going to try to distract you he's going to try to bring you know different types of seductions to try to break you down and that's that's when abortion comes in that's when transgenderism comes in music uh, you know homosexuality all that type of stuff that's when everything comes in and it's just so normal in the generation that we're in today that people find it so crazy the fact that you're preaching against it uh, i'm not sure if you guys are understanding what i'm trying to say but they're just trained they're pretty much trained mentally like on a daily you see different stuff around the world you find it you find it crazy pedophilia like most of these things are getting normal in in the world that we're in today so for us even like the way i'm looking right now preaching to you about this thing you know this stuff is not right some of these things are against god's word like you're gonna be looking at me like i'm i'm the crazy guy but like at the end of the day, this is the word that was given from time and all this stuff is, is new. So we have to understand, you know, put things into perspective, understand like how does this even happen? Because you can say, oh, like Mike is born, but he doesn't know what gender he is. He can choose what gender he wants to be. Like it, was, it wasn't it was there years ago. So all of a sudden you're trying to see that this stuff is, is normal. You're trying to see that this stuff is generally, it's, it's not like that. You always gotta understand the roots. You always gotta ask yourself questions to see how does this happen. Like, there's a deeper meaning into it, but at the end of the day, all these, all of these things that's going on is just to push yourselves away from God. Because God, He wants us to get closer to Him as much as we can, you know, spending time in His Word, spending time, you know, 
um, in prayer, uh, you know, around people that have just built you up to try to grow spiritually onto Him. But with the amount of things that's going on in the world today, it's almost impossible. So the fact that you're preaching God's word, people are gonna hate it. They're gonna want to, they're gonna want to curse at you. They're gonna want to, you know, they're gonna want to fight you. They're gonna want to be aggressive. They're not gonna agree with anything you're saying. You know, for for them, like it's just something that's so like sensitive. Like it's too much of a touchy topic to the point where like they're not gonna want to, they're not gonna want to relate to the facts. And this isn't just the people that's going on. The people in the world. That don't even consider themselves Christians. There's people that consider themselves Christians that also want to preach against it. And at the same time, like I like I say, <laughs> it all goes back to what goes on. What, what what the word says, and they know like what the word says is the truth. That's that's just the way it's taught. That's just the way it is. The Bible is the truth. So in order for us to speak against it, it doesn't mean link. You may not find like it's something that it's something that you agree with, but you can't link you can't link to your feelings at the end of the day a lot of things our parents tell us while growing up we don't agree with most, most of the things our parents tell us growing up we're young we want to do what we want da, 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 but they know what's best for us at the end of the day some people we, we crawl we end up coming back to them we end up apologizing depending on the situation whatever but you know at the end of the day that the parents didn't know what's best for you. your mom your dad they know what's best for you god knows what's best for us so in order for us to do something that's wrong against his will and we're seeing that you know maybe i feel like things should be this way or that way it's just not right because you have to understand that this is the word he gave us he gave us his life he knows what the devil is trying to do to push us away from him so he's trying to wake us up so at the same time this is what we're trying to do as a job of like ourselves as christians to wake up other people let them know you know this is what's going on this is how it has to be first and foremost understanding the love of god because it's not just it's not a religious type of thing it's not regulations you can't do this you can't do that you always have to understand go back to your roots knowing what's the most important thing is truly to experience loving god before anything it's not no religious stuff none of that understand that you have to have that love for god you have to try him you have to have that experience things will start making sense for you after that but understand that we can't link to our feelings all the time because god knows what's best for us and there's a lot of people a lot of so-called christians um that just don't agree they don't agree at all they want to argue they want to say this and that and they know that it's not true but it's just the way they feel but i need to, at the end of the day it's not the way it's not about the way you feel sorry to break it to you it's not about the way you feel uh, you know this is about the word of god what he says is the truth and his things at the end of the day while living for god there's a lot of things you're going to hear that's going to sting there's always going to be a message that's going to bother you but it gets you thinking in a way so it needs to reflect on it and then at a point once you think about it like you know what maybe this is true maybe this isn't. some people might say it's not true you pray about it you think about it it's just the way the world is but at the end of the day we can't link to our own feelings link to what's true as a christian you have to link to the word of god at all times things may not seem correct things, things may not seem the way it's supposed to be but as a Christian while living for God, you can't just change immediately to wanting to agree with everything. You know, things things isn't easy when it comes to being a newborn, a newborn Christian, you know, growing in the faith. You may not want to agree with everything, but it, it all goes back to the beginning, getting that love for God. Understand that this is the way it works. This is the way it's supposed to be before anything. We can't link your feelings at all. Um, that's basically one I wanted to say as a startup. Uh, we don't have too much time, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hog the the ball for now. I'm gonna let you gonna speak a little bit. Like you know, had it backwards. Just give me the duel. You know, cut the log and I. Ah. Uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, honestly, I like the topic you brought up because it's actually a very important topic. And um, when you think about it, the way I see it is like people who are wise in this world know about this already. But a lot of people aren't wise in this world. Um, I don't consider myself wise either. But there's some people that are just way off. And like in this life, you can't be led by emotions. You can't be led by your feelings. You gotta be objective and not subjective. An example of objectiveness is saying this is a table. This is actually a table. But if I come and I'm like, hey, you know what? I think this is a, a cat. It's not a cat. It's not. It but I, I feel I feel like it's a cat. It's not a cat. It's a table. It's a fact that this is a table, regardless. But some people put facts over feelings. Now, when you link that to the word of God, it starts making sense because 
you can't go by how you feel. You have to go by what the word of God says. And no, even brought up the fact that a lot of people don't do this, which is true, but a lot of Christians don't do this either. And people that don't even think like this are not actually Christians because they put whatever they feel over the word of God. A lot of Christians, like Noah said, they, you, got, you bring up top piece subjects as a uh, secular music, they'll get mad at you. Like, well, what do you mean I can't listen to this? What do you mean I can't listen to that? It's like, yo, first of all, do whatever you want, that's first. But you just go by the word. We're just going by what the word of God says. If the word of God says, follow God, do this, try to get closer to him, you can't do things that will push you away from him. Even if I were doing that, it's bad, and I have to change. So if someone came to tell me, hey, watch out what music you're listening to, I'd be like, yo, damn. Like, if I look at it on an objective side, on a facts-based side, it's true. But if I go by my feelings, I'll just be like, oh no, like, why are you telling me this? And I'll start crying like a little baby. But at the end of the day, we're adults, we're grown. We're going to make adult decisions, you know, objective decisions by what actually is and not what ought to be. It's basic critical thinking. But um, a lot of people in this, especially this generation, like the way our brains work, it doesn't even make sense anymore. You, everything's by feelings, everything. Everything's emotions. And that's when you ask yourself, like, where do you draw the line? Because a lot of people want to do whatever they want. They want to go to parties. They want to expose their bodies. They want to, I don't know, um, dance in ways where they shouldn't be dancing. They want to do things that they should not be doing. I don't know, um, watching things that they shouldn't be watching, going places they shouldn't be going. And they, f- they feel like it's normal, but it's not normal. Because what does the word of God says? No partying. It says no adult, uh, yeah, no adultery, no sexual immorality, sex outside of marriage. You're not allowed to have sex outside of marriage. You can't be doing any sexual things outside of marriage. You cannot be doing that. The Bible defends it. It says it, it says no to it. No homosexuality. No lying, no stealing. But everything's normal to us nowadays. It's like, oh, I feel like I should lie. It's not that bad. What does the Bible say, though? We're going by what's actually, like I said, what actually is, not what ought to be. For example, like I said, where do you draw the line? If I went, okay, let's say... Um, we get mad at homosexuality and stuff like that, right? Like, oh, what do you mean you can't be a homosexuality? You're not showing love. That's not true love, first of all, because if you truly love the person, then you would not um, want them to go to hell. And God fully said that if you live into homosexuality, you're going to hell. So, facts. Now, when you look at an example for, um, let's say, um, I go feelings based, and give you as a good example. So, people will be like, who are you to judge uh, homosexuality, secular music, this, uh, who are you to tell me what to do, uh, Karabana, this Karabana weekend right there. Uh, uh, I think Christians, when they, they turned up, you know, and you know you shouldn't even be there, but you know, you want to fit into the crowd, you want to be like everyone else, you can't be your own self, you want to be a sheep. So, I'm not going to judge you for that. You'll be going to hell if you continue in that lifestyle. But okay, let's say um, someone gets mad at me and they say, oh, you know what? Well, I feel like this, I feel like that. Okay, I could just come back and be like, okay, you know what? Yo, what if I just rate that? What if I, I saw a girl that I raped her? And then someone asked me, like, yo, why'd you do that? And I'm like, yo, I felt like it was normal. You understand? Where do you draw the line? Of, of course it's not good. It's not good at all. I'll never, I'll never do that. But people always want to generalize things. They want to make things normal. But it's not normal. People want to make pedophilia normal, but it's not normal. So you have to ask yourself, where do you actually draw the line? We believe in absolute truth because the Bible speaks about absolute truth. The Bible gives us things to do and we have to follow it. It doesn't tell us to think about it. The minute you think about what you want to do and you put that over the word of God, you become your own God and you're against God automatically. So you got to fix up, honestly. I got to fix up. No one has to fix up because we all do these type of stuff. We like to go according to our own thinkings and we push away the word of God. But as soon as we live in lifestyles that are like that, we're automatically enemies to God. Because if you're not for God, you're against Him. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to be against God, yo. Because once you're on the other side, you'll be burning in hell forever. And this is so serious. People don't want to talk about this, but we'll keep on talking about this. Like, we're not here to be loved. We're not here to be, um, I don't know, um, looking like, oh, top guys. Like, nah. Whenever we do these videos, yo, it's straight facts just, just for our souls. And that's how it's always going to be, um, according to God's glory, hopefully. But honestly, what I'm really trying to say is that you have to look at things for what it actually is. What does the word of God say? You want to say you're Christian, you want to follow God, you want to sing in the choir and all that stuff? What does the Bible say? Are you following what the Bible says or not? Are you being, are you being biblically correct or not? Because everyone has their own opinion, everyone has their own things to say. Everyone wants to get offended and be touchy and be so sentimental. Like, oh my gosh, I feel this, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, whether you're hurt or not, what God says is going to go through. God's word is here forever. It's never going to fall away. Everything is going to pass away but the word of God. So what are you going to be in your feelings saying, oh, no, 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 and crying and all that stuff? God's there telling you what to do, and he knows what's best for you, but you don't want to do it. You end up burning in hell for no reason. And you're going to end up having a bad life on this earth too because there's no true happiness without God. Money doesn't give you happiness. Success does not give you happiness. Girls don't give you happiness. Um, 
sex does not give you happiness. All that stuff is just temporary. You guys know this stuff. All human beings know this stuff. There's still that void that has to be filled. So when you're doing all that stuff, when you're going off and all that and all that stuff, you know it's just temporary. After that, you're gonna go home. You're not gonna care anymore. And the next thing you're gonna wake up, I'm gonna go do it again. When you go back home, same thing, you're back to being depressed. So you gotta wake up. You truly wanna live properly, accept God in your life, and live for Him for the rest of your life. If not, then too bad for you, because Jesus Christ loves you, He died on the cross for you, and if you don't wanna follow Him, then that's really your loss, because your whole eternity is at stake. Your whole eternity is at stake. Your whole life is at stake. You wanna let the devil laugh at you and, like, Stop following, I'm, I'm not going off of you. Stop following the world. Like, be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Want to be good. Like, want to be like Jesus Christ. Be yourself. You don't have to follow the crowd. What everyone else is doing, you can't be a follower just because she won them wrong. They're doing this island, let's go. They're going to Carolina, let's go to Carolina. Nah, yo. Like, wake up. You're a Christian. You're set apart. You're set apart. If you want to be like the world, <laughs> God's not of the world, yo. People of God are not from the world. We can't be like everyone else. Wake up. Come on, you gotta be different, yo. People are looking at you and you're fitting in with them. People are looking at you like, oh, this is, you can do whatever we want with them. They're putting on your snatch. You gotta have concerts. Like, wake up. Are you a Christian or not? Do you wanna follow Christ or not? What do you wanna do? Pick a side. Are you with God or not? You gotta pick a side. There's no middle. Yo, it's like this, yo. The, the, the divider is here, there's one sider. It's like, you can't be here. You're here, yo. You're on the, the opposite side already, yo. This is God's side, this is the devil's side. You're here, you're on the devil's side automatically. There's no middle. That's all I have to say. No middle, man. <laughs> is this good? Alright, mate, you're looking sweet, don't worry. <laughs> you know, it's gonna do what it is. But, um, the reason why we're saying this most importantly because at the end of the day, the goal is to either make it to heaven or to hell and you guys might catch offense to this message um some people might get, i don't know some people are gonna get annoyed by some of the things we said but at the end of the day that's what the message says that's what the word of god says so it's important to truly want to follow him because it's heaven or hell at the end of the day heaven or hell heaven or hell heaven or hell you don't have control of your own life what's gonna happen the next day so on, you have to take in exactly like what's really going on what am I really doing right? Because just you can think, you can say one thing, you know what, let me try to take God serious. And the next thing you can completely forget about it just by the amount of distraction that goes on around the world. And understand that, like Yvon said, he has to fix up, I have to fix up. None of us are perfect. We, I know the way we're speaking is as if we're like, oh, mm -hmm. like we're, we're the best people, like we're not the best people. Like we're humans just like you guys. We're not the best. We go through issues, we go through a lot of stuff. Like you guys don't even understand. But it's all about making the effort at the end of the day. God wants you to truly want that world, you truly want to follow him. And that's why I said there's a difference between relation relationship and religion. You know, religion is all about, you know, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do this. It's not like that. Because some people can be new, some people have to grow. And when it comes to that relationship, you know, you want to be intimate, you truly want to, you know, have that sense to truly want to love God, you know, instead of just rather just following on certain regulations as if like you're following the law. <laughs> it's not like that anymore. You know, you truly have to gain that relationship. Like it's 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 easy. It's an easy equation. But I encourage you guys, man, to understand that we truly have to take our life serious. We truly have to follow God at 100. Uh, percent This life is no joke, man. And you just gotta persevere each and every day, no matter how tough it is. I encourage you guys push yourself because I think that's what's gonna make God happy. That's what that's what's gonna make God bring you to Him. And you want to make it to heaven. You don't you don't want to go to hell for you know dumbest things understand man. you gotta take out serious but yeah i encourage you guys man love you guys y'all be blessed love you too or know the heart's always there uh especially with the banger i don't even care what you say <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, up, well, up. you drop 40 i drop 40 oh, wow. 30 and 10 oh, well. but yeah um take it seriously um we're trying to take this seriously no one said it's about the effort we're not perfect of course, if the person's talking, they're gonna seem like, oh, they're but no, it's not even like that. We're all struggling, we're all trying to squeeze through the narrow gate, that's what the Bible says that. But like through everything, you'll just take this message seriously and take God seriously. Do your own thing, yo, follow God, don't follow the crowd, be yourself. Be important, you know, and be set apart. Because like I said, you're a temple of the Holy Spirit. You have to know your identity in Christ. If you know your identity in Christ, you will not allow yourself to do certain things. You will not allow certain people to talk to you in a certain way. You will not allow yourself to be in certain places, to watch certain things, and to do certain stuff. And a good example.
represents the president of the United States, Donald Trump. He can't be ever he wants, whenever he wants to be. He can't do that. He has to follow some certain rules because of his position. He can't do whatever he wants anymore because he's president. No, when you value yourself, when you have your, when you know your, your true worth, your self worth in Christ, you act different. Don't forget that. I won't forget it. Don't forget it.